Caucus of the Boston Rock Hoppers. Pete, can you give me a little rundown on team chemistry tonight? Oh, it's been great since the moment we, we all got to the airport at 5 a.m. You know, we all started just to come together, bond as a team. Uh, we've been traveling, actually. I've been traveling since 2.30 this morning, uh, in the morning, along with a lot of other guys. And, you know, as the game went along, you can see it out there. We just got more intense and really gelled together. What stood out most, I think, was uh, the intensity just in the fourth quarter of our team when we were down. We didn't, you know, pout. We didn't start yelling at each other. We really came together, stayed positive, and uh, pulled it out. It's really just such a great win, such a good time to be part. So after the game against the Stick Horses here, what excites you most about the coming season? Uh, just being out here playing is just like a dream come true. Basically, you know, I played uh, major league cross for nine years, and this is kind of a new opportunity. And it's just, I'm having a great time. I mean, we just. All these guys are great, the coaches are great, it's just great to be playing lacrosse again, especially indoor box lacrosse. I think that's the Now, Pete, can you speak a little bit on the game result tonight? Let, you know, let the fans know what the score result was, what you thought of that result, is that what you expected? Uh, well, it's a 10 9 uh, Boston win. We were down 7 5 at one point in the game. Uh, it was really just an outstanding game, fun to watch. This is my first pro box game to be a part of it. It's just, I, I love it. I like it more than the outdoor game. It's just such a great time for the fans to play music all the time. It's just such a great time. I'm here with Andrew Kirkcaldy with the Boston Rock Hoppers. Andrew, can you let me know what you thought about the team chemistry here tonight? Uh, I thought team chemistry, it, it took a while to get up there. I think we still have a long way to go by any means. I don't think it was fantastic, but I don't think it was bad. You know what I'm trying to say? It was, uh, but it was okay. We pulled out a win, so I mean, it, it's there. And Flash is brilliant, which makes it a lot easier to play. Yeah, can you speak a little bit about the game results tonight? I know Pete said you guys won 10-9. What do you think about that? What excites you most about that? Um, I think what excites me the most is a comeback win. Uh, I mean, if you had to play together, you've got to kind of shut your mouth a little bit and just focus on your game and play as a team. And each player has to focus on their role. I mean, obviously I'm happy with the W, but, uh, you know, hats off sick horses. They played a good game. They controlled a lot of the tempo. But, uh, you know, a couple lucky goals, and we pulled one off. So now after playing your season opener here at Kentucky, what excites you most about the coming season? Uh, just being with the guys. Yeah, I think that really excites me most. Just being with my teammates and traveling, uh, seeing these, playing in these great venues like Freedom Hall in Kentucky. Uh, Mr. Chase, he always really nice. He always came in and said a few things and just wicked it out, so that was really nice. Um, I'm just excited about the season. I'm excited for a full season and uh, yeah, just being with boys. Huh? And I'm here with Nick Schrader with the Boston Rock Hoppers. Nick, can you tell me about the team chemistry here tonight? For a first time out with all the boys, everyone did, it was a big learning curve. Everyone did awesome. Obviously, a couple of mistakes, breakdowns late, and guys get tired, but they won't do it again. It's good. So obviously, as we can see, you guys won tonight, 10 to 9. But what would you like to say kind of stood out to you most about your guys' win tonight? Kirk scoring five. He was unconscious. So what was the greatest thing about playing here at Freedom Hall? Cheerleaders. Cheerleaders. I think they all did a great job. Nailed the number. Great routine. Two or three routines they nailed. One. One. I am now here with Eric O'Brien of the Kentucky Stick Horses. Eric, I know that tonight was your guys' first night, but you did have the scrimmage. So what can you say about the team chemistry here tonight? Uh, I thought it went well, especially defensively. It was a low-scoring game. Uh, the guys meshed well. It's a lot of the uh, returning guys. We have a couple, couple different new guys who fit in perfectly. Um, you know, when it comes down to it, I think we just hit the goal in the chest too many times. We need to work on our shooting. So now that you guys got to open the season at home here, what do you look forward to most in the coming season? Um, I think it's going to be great to, well, we, uh, we have our home games, but we, we get to travel a lot too and, and feel like it's a real season. It's not just an invitational. Um, and, and when you're on the road with, with your team, that's when you really mesh and that's when the bonding comes together. And you're going to see a strong, strong league by the time the playoffs come. Everyone's going to be strong, meshing well. And, you know, we're going to see a much better game than what we saw today. And how do you see the team moving forward from this week to next week? Um, well, today was a very, very physical match. We played well. Uh, it, was a, it was a hard spoken game for both teams. And, uh, you know, next week we're going to come out, we're going to be physical. Um, I think. We can be a little bit more in shape, um, do some sprints, work harder, and then work once again work on our shooting. So, um, you know, shooting, get in shape, and we're going to be the physical team uh, of the NALL. And uh, yeah, that's what we need to improve on.
Thanks, Eric. Yep. I'm here with Anthony Kelly of the Kentucky Stick Horses. Anthony, can you tell me a little bit about the team chemistry here tonight? Yeah, you know, we're finding it. Obviously, uh, you know, coming up on the short end, uh, you know, we only have one practice, getting ready for this. Um, you know, in one week in a training camp. So, you know, obviously a lot of things to work on, but um, definitely a talented group, and, uh, you know, I think we'll have some, some good things here in the future. I know opening the season here at home is huge. Uh, what do you look forward to most in the coming games? Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously it's always great to play at home. Uh, great fans, great atmosphere here. You know, we probably have the best venue in, in the league, um, you know, which is awesome. So, uh, you know, it was really good seeing a lot of fans that have never been to a lacrosse game before, talking to them afterwards. So looking forward to all them coming back and then just cheering us on. You know, it's great to be at home. What stood out to you most tonight about the game? Um, man, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> you know, we definitely have some things to work on. Um, you know, transition, getting out and off the floor. Um, you know, just finding our, finding our, just kind of finding our groove. You know, and uh, that just takes time. And that's just about having some new guys on the floor and, and putting the pieces together. But we'll definitely get there. I mean, definitely, uh, like I said, a real talented group, and, and I'm real optimistic about where we're going. I am here with Mike McConnell of the Kentucky Stick Horses. Mike, okay. tonight was your first NALL game. Okay. What'd you think? Uh, you know, personal standpoint, it was, you know, took a little while to yeah. get used to the things. You know, having kind of a year off kind of really caught up with me towards the end of the game. But it was fun. You know, good group of guys, great crowd, great organization. So, you know, I'm looking forward to uh, the rest of the season. So being a new addition to the Kentucky Stick Horses, what did you think about the team chemistry here tonight? You know, obviously game one. You know, having kind of one little practice under our belt, so to speak, it was, you know, it'll get there. It's, you know, not where it should be at this time. So, but, you know, like we have 11 games to kind of work on it towards, you know, our goal, which is uh, getting the playoffs and, you know, taking this thing down. So, you know, it'll come week to week. You know, we just got to kind of get on the same page, you know, like everybody says, and, and we'll work it out. So what excites you most about being a part of the NALL? I think it's just a new challenge, you know, for me personally, you know, kind of getting back in the swing of things, uh, playing at a high level of lacrosse, uh, playing with, you know, some good guys that have, that along the road, some familiar faces. So I'm just looking forward, you know, and have the chance to win. You know, that's a big thing. That's why we all play this game, and uh, you know, that's that's the that's the big point. Thank you. I am here once again with Coach Pete Schroeder. Coach, what did you think about the team chemistry here tonight? I think the chemistry was good. Uh, we uh, have some things to work out as far as uh, just getting used to playing with each other. And that's going to come. We have a good, solid group of people, and they've got some nice skills. So it's a matter of how uh, we put all the pieces together. Now, Coach, tonight was a tough game, but could you speak a little bit on the game result today? Sure. Uh, you know, I thought we uh, held the four down. I thought we were playing with fire a little bit with a penalty shot and two men down. And Spencer Lyons and our man down here played very well. And uh, I think they kind of uh, we got caught in transition a little bit, and Andrew Kirkaldi played very good in the half court game. And uh, it was a little too much for us tonight. It was a good effort, but uh, Boston had a little more uh, uh, you know, bully for them. So you had the opportunity to play all your games here last season, but this season you got to open up at home and now you get to experience other venues. What excites you most about the coming NILL season? Well, I just love to see uh, the interest in our league grow outside of Kentucky and I uh, can't wait to get to Boston and Baltimore and, and uh, you know, get out in front of those fans there. And those are top-notch uh, organizations and it's going to be great for the game. And what stood out to you most this evening in regards to the play? Uh, the play was very, uh, very fast. It was a, it was a very up and down game. Uh, you know, it took. Uh, it's early in the season. Both teams got a little winded at different times, uh, but uh, it, there was a ton of transition and a lot of up and down. And it was plenty physical too, but also with a lot of skills. There was a lot of skill play out there and some good shooting. So something for everybody out there.